And here we have a fantastic homage to the electronic call group Kraftwerk. Do you don't think it's Kraftwerk? To me it's more about Boy George. To me it's more about transsexual. Not transsexual exactly, but more, more like, you know, about transvestite. A drag queen. So you, you just think there is a dress there? Yeah, I think that's the dress. Yeah, that's... I mean, and you think it's a body? Well, I think it's, it, it, to me, it has much more to do with the planes and, like, the reconstruction of uh, biology through, like, very early computer imaging, like, really clunky and really poorly done. Per os 80 metais čia buvo viena pagrindinių dženkių susirinkimų vieta ir paskui atsirado staiga, paskui atsirado. Kviesiu laimės, o jis esi ne šiandien tiek, oi, graži, palinkiu laimės jauninių progą, sveikatos ir meilės. O gal galėtume ir papasakoti apie šitą paminklą? Šitą nieko nežinau, aš iš toli atleiskit, lai nu, skubinu bažnyčelį. O jeigu bažnyčioje būtų va toks paminklas? Toko nereikia, reikia bažnyčioj Kristaus ir maldos ir tykumos, ne, bažnyčioj. Bet Kristus gali šitaip atrodyti. Kaip? Čia toks šiolaikinis Kristus, jeigu tarkime. Šiolaikinis Kristus, 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 jis gaivinantis šiandien Kristus. Jis atgaivina šitas vandinėlis, nu, visko. Nu, mirties, nu, visko, Kristaus kūnas ir kraujas, ai, nuskubu, laimingas per šiandien. Sėkmijai, sandžiai. Alo? My name is Catherine Hemmelreich and I'm going to tell you a fairy tale tonight about what happens when you turn off TV but can only happen on TV. Tonight's story begins in a small cottage in a wood. There is smoke coming from the chimney and inside we find the newly married Emma and Jonathan. They're watching their favourite wildlife programme on their small set that sits near the fire. Just as the penguins are diving between the ice sheets, their TV goes blank. Moments after, the rest of the lights in the house go out. They hear a knock at the door. Emma goes over and opens it. Standing there is an old woman. She is wearing a cape and holding a vial of glowing potion. Before Emma can speak, the crone th throws the mixture over Emma and she turns to stone. Jonathan is aghast and runs towards the pile of rocks that was his wife. As Jonathan looks up at the woman, she hands him a letter and leaves. By the light of the fire, Jonathan reads, They had forgotten to pay the electricity bill. Company policy states, Upon non-payment of a bill, a member of the household is turned to stone until receipt of payment. Jonathan hugs the Emma-shaped rock and goes to bed. In the morning, he goes through the trees to the village and pays the bill, and Emma stops being a statue. The end. Uh, standing in front of a monument, I'm trying to understand it. I think it's a monument to multiple personality, but I'm not so sure yet. Yeah, it's plenty of heads, plenty of heads. I do think, I mean, there's... To me, it's like a... Like a has something to do with schizophrenia. Tell me more. Multiple personalities? Yeah, but they're all centered. Yeah, but of, I mean, it's only one person with multiple personalities. Right? Yeah, but I think like in you know, a multiple personality is not centered. Like, you know, look, they are all coming out of the same, like, you know, stem, out of the same center, no? But you don't think that multiple, per why don't you think that multiple personalities come from the same, I mean, like, at the end, if they come from the same brain, they, in a sense, come from the same center. Okay, so it's like a mm, representation of the brain projecting the multiple personality. Yeah, but that's boring, though. So. Why is it boring? I you mean know. it's a boring representation? It's a boring idea. Yeah, but it's your idea, it's not my idea. I know, I'm, I'm just thinking about that it's a boring idea, so... Yeah, even if you're multiple personality, it doesn't, like, you know, mean that you're not boring. I guess so. Right? Yeah. I really, I always wanted to see the monument to Cristina Aguilera. I'm really happy that you brought me here. It's so nice. Because you're Latina. Yeah, I mean, I feel really close to my roots now, it's amazing. Right. I, I feel like there is a part of me here, you know, like a representation of my origin. I don't feel a foreigner anymore. Like, I feel like I belong. Great, and to me the great thing is that uh, I think this monument for Cristina Aguilera contains both shades of her hair. It's both blonde and it's also dark, right? So it's like really embodies her essence. 
and it's also about like night and day and life, you know. It's yes. It's just, it's very moving. It touches my heart. Do you think Cristina Aguilera is so popular? Populatina. Ah, uh, because she's good, no? Yeah, but I mean, like you know, what does she like you know addresses? What does she touch in people's soul? The inner beauty. The inner beauty. Yeah. Think so. The power of the power of innocence in the young female. Junk female? Yeah. Junk the junk fem female inside of... Uh, junk female? Yeah. What, what is, where is this term coming from? Junk female? I think it's... Uh, from writings of Britney Spears? I think so, yeah. It's like her last es book of essays. Yes. There is... Uh, essays on my ass. <laughs> essas. <laughs> essas, exactly. Essas. This, there is uh, an, an essas. Essas, yeah. Uh, where she addresses the facts of the power, powerlessness of the young female and how it needs to be uh, touched upon and made an issue for future generations to think about. And I think that's, that's also why it's very important that there's a monument to commemorate these brave women of this generation that are trying to do something for the rest of us. Does your ass empower you? Not yet. At some point there was like a cemetery here. And then in the 80s, when I was a kid, they started like you know, to reconstruct the whole area. And what they did, they built a monument here uh -huh. with eight persons. And what are they And now? it was for the Red Army. I think like, you no, know, for the Red Army which liberated Lithuania, so I mean... Liberated Lithuania from who? From fascists. So it was like, you know, sort of George W. Bush, Hussein kind of quarrel. And then they were removed at some point and they were just, I don't know, probably they are in that place where you... Where I'm going to, yeah. yeah. But I, I really like this monument now, I mean, like, yeah. in the area. It looks like a monument to indifference. Indifference? Yeah. Explain, please. No, it's indifferent. Okay. And the thing is that it's really uncomfortable to sit on these, right? And if it would be comfortable, imagine how nice it would be. That you come but here. it's even better that you can't. Why? You don't like to sit? You don't like to I sit like on to monuments? I like to sit, but it's, it's the, just the... It's the gesture without the possibility. Okay. So it means it's, it's a symbolic gesture. Yeah, we use an empty gesture, which is what monuments are, anyway. Yeah. So? Which is why, at the end, they should be actions and not gestures, right? Yes. So this so seems like a what's very... The what's the difference of gesture and action? Well, a gesture does, does not... It's not completed, it's just... A gesture is what a politician does. It says, if you elect me, I will make a bridge. Yeah. But he never makes a bridge. He just does the symbolic gesture of the bridge. You mean While like a promise? A promise, yes. Campaign promises. That's a gesture. Yeah. While action is actually you go and make the bridge. So, is there a chance for gesture to become an action? Or it's doomed? Not. Well, if you can I mean, it depends. No, if you complete the gesture, it becomes action. Right. But, but that's pure. That's a matter of, of if you carry it through or if you want to stop. So in that sense, gesture is more open than action, because gesture still, like you know, uh, contains a possibility, and action it completes it. Yeah, but the, I mean, that's been uh, the case that a lot of people has made about gestures. The problem is that they think that they are exhausted at the moment, because it's too easy to contain a possibility. Well, it's it's much more difficult, at, and it changes now as history changes. This this changes too it becomes more difficult now to actually carry a possi uh, possibility than you just... You mean to realize it? Yeah, it's too easy to suggest. Yeah. I mean, you can even make... You know, uh, if, you, if you still want to uh, deal with the symbolic, you can make symbolic actions. Like what? I don't know, I mean, like, like what? Like showing this thing for... Boom. That's symbolic action, what you do. 
I show it to you? Show it to me? <laughs> no, that sounds like playing doctor. It's my father. Yeah? Yeah, so I presented him as my father. Uh -huh. So we are brothers and sisters. So we are brothers and sisters. Sister. <laughs> so we should have sex. Okay, now? Well. At the count of the, three? If the father is watching, then it's good. Okay, so let's count to three and then have sex. Okay. One, two, two three. three. Yes. Frank Zappa. My father. Wasn't he the first Lithuanian president? He was. When Lithuania was multi-independent. Multi when Mexico was the capital, right? Yes. When Mexico was the capital of Lithuania, he was the first president that brought Pepsi Cola to our country. And then you got this new president who brought what? Coca-Cola to your country. That's all about, you know, it's all about rivalries. Yeah, that's, that's the way it is. Yeah. It's not a third world. And what's this? We are approaching now uh, Brian Ferry. Brian Ferry, yeah. The father of all new romantic music. And Brian Ferry is from, I think, like in the 53, I would say 56. This is the place where I think the first meeting of the Lithuanian Communist Party took place over there somewhere. Somewhere? Yeah, 20s, I think. Interesting. How do you know that? I mean, like, you know, I was born in the communist times and I'm going to die in communist times. <laughs> Do your roll, do your roll. <laughs> well, this is a garden where they uh, cultivate fountains. These fountains were planted about six months ago, so they are still pretty small. But in 10 years' time, they will be very big. Don't you think that sometimes things get smaller instead of getting bigger. But I know for a fact that this will get bigger. Oh yeah? Yeah. Is it about also the growth of economy and welfare? No, I think it's about the passage of time. The passage of time? Yeah. Something from the 60s. Who is from the 60s? Time? Fountains? The idea of passage of time. No, I think it's uh, more from the 90s. Why? Because it, it's all millennium? Re reused 60s ideas in the 90s? Millennium. It's millennium. all about the millennium. Okay. But you can see how they are growing, right? Last, last week they were so much smaller. In good weather, it takes about 5 to 10 years to reach normal height. This, these fountains have like a good chance to, you know, to grow pretty tall. Normal height of a fountain is about uh, 7 meters tall. Yeah. And then they take him to Iceland. Oh yeah? Yeah. And being naturalized. Exactly. Okay. Who was this? Iggy Pop? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. This is a monument for art. Aha. Uh -huh. See? And who is he? Iggy the Pop? zombie version of Iggy Pop, I guess? Yeah. Iggy Kinda Pop like. after this reincarnation. Uh, Iggy Pop coming back from the dead? Yes. <laughs> so tell me, tell me. That's my family. That's your family? Yeah. <laughs> They're very happy today. My sister graduated from high school? Yeah. And she's in the center, and they're taking her for a ride. But someone told me it's a piece of Krzysztof Wodiczko. No, I think it could be a piece by, a, a, like, an Andrea Sittel piece. Though. Andrea Sittel? Yeah. Yes. So who is this gentleman? Well, you said it's David Bowie. I don't think so, so now that I'm looking at it from close. Okay, let's, let's have a look. I think it's Bob Dylan. To me, it's more like, sort of like James Hetfield of Metallica. You know, kind of cut his ha hair, you know, and became the, an accountant? Yeah, take different clothes to destroy Napster. 
and be kind of bourgeois. I think so. you're right. I think you're right. Bourgeois yeah. from Midwest. Yeah. What is that, please? It's a mon mon monument for dysfunction. It's a monument for anti-function. anti yeah. Anti-function, right? And what is anti-function? It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's neither decoration nor ornament. Uh, it's just no. anti-function. Yeah, there's, like, there's nothing practical or beautiful about it. Exactly, nothing practical or beautiful about it. Yeah. Inter most interesting concept. Yes. Almost a little bit like art. So, is that art? Our dear friend Phil Collins, uh, this is an image clearly right after he broke up with Genesis. As he's wondering what to do next. So take a look at me now. How did the other members of Genesis look like? Much better. Yeah? yeah. They were less confined by wisdom. Much less confined by wisdom. What do you think about it, Phil? Spice Girls? Spice Girls, no? You think so? Well, it's something about like pre-manufactured music. Why? Look at it. Like to drive a trolleybus in Vilnius because there are many women trolleybus drivers in Vilnius. Of course, we would yeah? like to drive a trolleybus. You know, there was a very, very funny story again, like you know, end of Soviet times. Uh huh. Uh, one morning, one of the trolleybuses suddenly started. It was full of people going to work, uh -huh. and suddenly it started to accelerate and go really fast and don't stop anywhere, okay. and like you know, to pass by other cars. And what happened, the driver, who was a, she was like a veteran of the Second World War, mm -hmm. she got, I mean, like, you know, crazy. Uh -huh. And she's like, started like, <laughs> like, fuck fascists, like, you know, fuck Nazis. That's a very nice story. I mean, like, you know, she really got crazy. And then, I mean, like, you know, police sort of blocked it. They stopped. I mean, like, everybody was really probably shocked inside. I mean, it would be nice to get to find those people who were in that trolleybus. If you were a kid, you would have a trolleybus, which was a big deal, 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 a big Rekonstrukcija. Rekonstrukcija, taip. Labai, labai greitai rekonstrukcija. Mes laukiame jūsų. Net jeigu jūs ten nebuvote ar norite tai pakartoti, mes galėtume susirinkti troleibuse, paprašyti vairuotojos, kad taip vėl įvyktų. Reikia, reikia. Tai yra 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 for shyness. Now, that's a monument for shyness, right? Shyness? Shyness. Yeah, shyness, exactly. Yeah. He said, no, no, no monuments. <laughs> <laughs> but there was, there, was not a, there was a monumaction. Monumaction, yeah, exactly. Yeah. M, O, N, U, M, A, K, T, I, O, N. Even like the woman at the fountain? Yeah. She was also a monumaction. For what? For Christ. Yeah, that's true. For like a, 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 a monumaction of a cross. Yeah. So what 
do you think are the conditions for modern action to happen? Immateriality? Yeah, but like, what creates the conditions for, for that? I mean, what do we need? Surplus. Surplus of what? Monuments. Okay. A surplus of monuments and a lack of action. What is it? Casualty. Casualty? Coincidence. You think so? Point of collision. That's why we are fascinated by coincidence that we cannot explain it. And all those like irrational, unknown elements make us fascinated, make us thrilled, right? But, but there is no, di I mean, like, there is no direct correspondence with anything. It's like all of a sudden you, there's something that satisfies, for a second, all your specificities, and that's a coincidence. And if you try, I mean, like, if you try to find too many explanations for it, then it stops being a coincidence and becomes a fact. But coincidence can be a fact, no? A fact of coincidence. A fact of life. A fact of life. I, I got a very nice links yesterday from Sarah Tripp. She's a Scottish artist. Mm -hmm. About how fiction creates fact. I'll send it to you. Oh, yeah, it's very it interesting. Does. Of course it does. Yeah. That's what rumors are important. Yeah. Now I'm thinking where should we get coffee? A monument for cats. Exactly. <laughs> See, it's there in that box. Aha. It's a monument to black magic, industrial music, goth. Uh, what's their name? The president? No. That's your boys? No, the presidents? No, 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 no. The residents. The residents, of course. The residents. It's the residents, a monument to the residents. Yes. Absolutely. Do you like them? I did. Yeah. You like them? I did. And I know that they had a concert recently. I mean, they are still performing. Yeah, but they, it's like going to see your grandmother or something. Yeah. When I was a monument, yeah. I had a lot of people come visit me. With flowers? Sometimes. Monument for death? I don't think so. But each monument is a monument for death, no? Yeah, that's that goes without saying. Yeah. What is this monument for? Joseph Boyce? Was he a musician? Joseph I think Boyce? so. He's folk singer, no? Folk singer? Yeah. You mean that he would sing for the whole nation? Yeah. He wanted. Yeah, I think so. And what does it say? It says basic. Basic, yeah. Basic voice. Yeah. Veikiaus ir reikia pasakyti, bus ne tik tai nacionalinės galerijos, bet ir Lietuvos dailės muziejaus kitų kūrinių. Ir jos bus kelių aukštų. Ir tarpydama ir skulptūra, ir tapyba, ir, ir darbėjom popieriaus, ir visą kitą, ką mes turim. Vietoje buvusio tokio atviro kiemo, kurį daugelis prisimena turbūt kaip apie paaiščytą grafitį, projektuotų į naujį, suprojektavo šitą plotą, kuris yra apie tūkstančio kvadratinių metrų salę. Jis skirsis ir savo dizainų iš išorės, nes bus tokia metališka ir 
viršuje bus tokie šedai šviesos, tokie skulptūriški. Atiduotas eksploatacijai porą metų anksčiau, negu buvo suplanuota, kadangi buvo rengiama ekspozicija, tai buvo valdžios atkūrimo 40 mečiai ir reikėjo paskubėti. Tai už tad buvo labai daug trūkumų padaryta, kai išėmė langus, tai visa siena beveik išgriuvo, nes jį buvo sumūryta iš betono ir visokių plytų nolaužų. Kai turi visą 20 amžių iki dabar parodyti, Tai erdvės yra nedidelės, vadinasi, atranka turi būti labai motivuota ir kažkaip, nu, aiškiai pagrįsta, kad ir parodytum tą, ką privalai parodyt, kaip tam tikrą kažkokią aukslo fondą ir kad tame gautųsi toks prasmingas naratyvas. Thank you. 